so. What do you do, Aveline? You know I'm a guard. Why are you asking? I mean in your off-duty hours, for fun. You've heard of it, I hope. These are my off-duty hours. And the trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. Right, so we're continuing on the dread of Wounded Coast again to go rescue Seamus, the Vice Count's son. And the world's rid of one more canary. Easier than I expected. Call the men back. We've got an appointment with the Viscount. Isn't that right, Seamus? Ashad! You killed him! You... You Vashadan bitch! That one of their words? See? That's why you need to be dragged home. You're playing too nice with those things. I'll wager you've gone even further than that. Haven't you, brat? A little rough for a rescue, don't you think? Competition? Well, you're too late. The Winters, uh, I, have already claimed him. Sirrah, if I must go back, so be it. But I will not see these... Murderers rewarded. Spoiled shit! I'll cut out your tongue and charge extra for bringing you back quiet. And as for you, I could do with some entertainment while we wait for the others. Right, so, the recap for the previous episode is that we finally get to meet Anders and. We finally found Fenriel! Yay! Dead and good riddance, but she said she was waiting for more. A lot more. Then we ready ourselves. Strip the camp, and we'll ready a fitting welcome. Oh yeah, and... I also saw one of the results of my decisions from Dragon Age Origins, which was the whole Dalish clan versus the werewolves. Thinking back on it, it took me a really long time to get everything perfect. I don't really feel like doing a let's play of Dragon Age Origins because a lot of people do that work for me and I spent roughly over 40 hours, including Awakening, to get the best possible results. Meaning I spent all that extra time to save everyone and make sure it's a happy ending, which was something I liked about Origins. I actually went through all the trouble to actually get the happy ending. I've never seen so many corpses. So much blood. Soil yourself later. There may be more. If I didn't know any better, I think I'm gonna end up cutting huge chunks of footage from the Wooden Coast if I have to, because it's a real snooze fest. I mean, just when I thought the cave map can't be any worse, the Wounded Coast is the worst map I've ever had to deal with because it's so huge and it's, well, linear in a pretty bad way. And it's like the perfect excuse for the, I don't know, scenario designers to like place multiple quests all over the Wounded Coast whenever they see fit. Never lied. Never coddled. You were worth his time, or you were not. They are not the brutes others claim they are. Take me to my father, and I will try again to make him see. It's clear this was not your first encounter with this... Ashard. I met him soon after their ship foundered. I had run, again, to escape the keep and my father. Ashard was to map the coast. 
to find an answer for the Arishok. I had so many doubts. Kunari have none. I wasn't aware that Kunari take many friends. Perhaps it isn't the right word. I am the Viscount's son, bound by everything that means. Ashard did not care. We were both seeking something. That was enough. I confess, I'm not sure what one does with a dead Kunari. The body is no longer him, and is worthy of no special treatment. That is, apparently, their way. Should his people be told? They will know. Whether they will deign to acknowledge it, I have no idea. There was much of a shard that I didn't understand. But it was so very worth trying. The Viscount is clearly concerned about your safety. The Viscount sends thugs to do a father's job. I was in no danger until his help arrived. You could have told him this was your wish. Keep your assumptions. He doesn't hear me. He's as tired of being disappointed as I am of bearing it. And now, Ashad is dead. It's not right. We'll leave soon enough, Seamus. Be ready. I am at your whim, Sarah. ready to leave. And you have coin to collect, I'm sure. Let's go, Seamus. Your father will be waiting in the keep. Then take me to him. Father. My son. I thought I'd lost you. Enough, father. Uh, allow me to present one Sarah Hawk, Your Excellency. She fulfilled the bounty. You have my gratitude. I hope you encountered no great difficulties on my son's behalf. There were complications, but I was privileged to keep your son from harm. I was told the Winters had involved themselves. Was there no way to avoid an incident? They murdered my friend. Where is the concern for that? It was my understanding you were captured alone. Foolishly traipsing about the coast as you do. I was not captured. I was with Ashad. The Kunari. They are not monsters to be feared. If you would just try to understand, others would see as well. Better that you were thought abducted than to have their influence suspected in my own family. Benign or not, it's too much. There's no middle ground? It sounds like you've both been hard-headed. That is quite enough. My apologies, Excellency, for this intrusion into personal matters. There is no... Just move. Oh, I never. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. See, I still gotta deal with the bone pit, I gotta deliver the letter. Nice crime you have around here. Okay, I think it's safe to bring Fenris back out. Because I'm gonna harass Thras. Which is pretty bad of me. I swear I picked the I picked the good guy option. But I gotta do this. We have found neither Hyde nor Herapel at Fainreal. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. I found this. It was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then you know what she is. How she died. 
When I traced her to that warehouse, I should have forced her into the circle. My own weakness in the face of her pleas is what destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainriel wished to hide. If only I had been so strong for Olivia. It would be unfortunate if the Templars learned you had lied about her. A few gold might prevent that. Seems only fair. You monster. Fine. Money is what you wish to avoid dragging my Olivia's name through the mud. You shall have it. Now be gone. Darn. Oh well, I have plenty of chances to make it up to Varric. Yes, there's an apparent preferential treatment I'm giving the Fenris. Since I'm using... Uh, since I'm like only using a guy to max out his friendship as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, and the thing is, what you see here with the whole friendship and rivalry ability is if you get the friendship or rivalry past 50%, then they'll pick a side. Or rather, they'll pick a certain type of abilities. Usually, like, friendship influence abilities benefits you or the whole party. And rivalry abilities only benefit the character themselves. Certainly your people have stories about the Dalish, no? My people? The elves in Tavinter. They must have heard of us. They've heard. They just don't care. But if they run away, the Dalish would help them. You might as well say. If they flew into the sky, they could live in the clouds. What would they eat in the clouds? There's nothing there but fluff and the occasional bird. This is why nobody takes the Dalish seriously. Your son has taken refuge with the Dalish. What? But he is human. They did not even wish me to raise him among them. But they do value magic more than the men of Kirkwall. Perhaps he can have both safety and freedom. As I said, I have little money. But this is a Dalish ring that has been in my family for generations. Please accept it with my thanks. Finally, I'm gonna go pay a little visit to Meryl. Not yet. Shem, who oversees the docks, says he... This city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged? Right outside. It was fascinating. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? Someone has jumped outside your door and that's exciting? It must be the Alien Age greeting. Hasn't happened to me yet, though. They must not like me. It's so busy here. So many things just get... lost. Do you miss the Danish? I miss her and Pival stories. The creaking of Aravels in the breeze. The city is so busy and confusing. And the elves here are not like my clan. But I'll get used to Kirkwall in time. The Templars haven't found you, have they? I've been careful, even among the Dalish. Keepers never work magic in public. And I think the Templars don't even see me. I'm just another elf in the alienage. 
Think of it like a game. You can pick up all the things people drop and overlook. Maybe count them. <laughs> I think they mostly drop garbage. I'm glad you came by. I needed someone to talk to. Okay, with that, I'm gonna stop right here and then pick it up next time. So, see you later.